homeowners and the developers, why we encourage you to embrace this system? There are a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, for the people that are developing in areas where we don't have the city council sewerage, management of sewage is a challenge because it means you have to put in a septic tank and, and the septic tank does not have a sock pit. So you have to keep on spending money calling the exhauster to come in and, and exhaust the sewage and take it to a dumping site. So by having this system, number one, you will eliminate the frequent exhauster costs. Secondly, our system uh, gives you uh, clean water that is reusable for secondary purposes. So for instance, if you're building in a place like Sokima or Kitengela where it's dry and there's shortage of water, by installing our system, you boost your water supply for purposes like uh, gardening or washing the car park or washing cars or even toilet flushing. Thirdly, for the people that just want to go green and eliminate pollution in the city, because now the population has really grown so fast, so we find that our sewerage system keeps on blocking and, and we end up polluting and that is a health risk. that protects the, our uh, electrical components and this is the computer which is the automated control of our system. So what the blower does, it uh, sucks air from the environment and supplies it through this pipe to the distributor pipe. So that air that our blower takes in has two purposes. Number one, the air provides oxygen for the bacteria already existing in the sewage. When the bacteria are supplied with oxygen, they eat the waste in the sewage and the product is the, is the clean water. So that principle of bacteria uh, thriving on, on organic matter in waste is the principle that we are using to achieve treatment. It's biological, we don't need to put any chemicals. So what we do is we just supply oxygen from this blower to the bacteria already existing in the sewage. And in a day, the bacteria eat the waste and the product is clean water. The second purpose of the air that is uh, produced by this blower is um, something called air lift mechanism. So we, we are not using submersible pumps to transfer our, our water from one chamber to the other. What happens is this air that is coming from the blower is connected to each of the pipe assemblies in each chamber. So using a principle called Mammut Airlift Principle, air is blown into the uh, pipe and it sucks the water up and transfers it to the next chamber. The other part that I said is the automated control. It's uh, like a computer. So this computer, what it does, it controls the cycles of treatment. So in the same chamber, which is called the reactor chamber, we have uh, four cycles taking place. <coughs> we have the loading cycle, we have the aeration cycle, sedimentation, and then pumping out of clean water. Now those four steps are taking place in one chamber. So to manage that, we have this computer that controls the timing of each of those steps so that the water finally comes out as clean water outside. The cost varies because we have a range of systems. Huh? So we have the smallest that can cater for a residential home of between five to 10 people. Now the cost of that system equipment alone, which includes a blower, the pipe assembly, would go for about 330,000 BAT inclusive. But then there's an additional cost of building a small chamber tank of about six meters by two meters and two meters deep. So that additional cost ranges depending on whether you use a fundi or a main contractor or you use us. So for a small house, it can range between 200,000 to 300,000, the tank construction. So that means you, it's a total of about 400,000 for this system. Scale systems, for instance, uh, this is a system that can do um, 37,000 liters of uh, waste per day. So, and it's accommodating uh, 40 apartment houses, each uh, 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 three bedroom. So, a population of about 225 people. So, the cost of the equipment alone was about uh, 2.5 million, and then almost the same cost to build the, the tank. So, tanky, the cost of the whole project is about 5 million.